What's up? What's good? What's pop? What's crack? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man, Theo Baller, and today is Thursday, and you know, it's some things that I just don't like talking about, but for whatever reason, I... People just need to learn how to shut up sometimes. What do I mean? So, Deshaun Watson, by now, this story is way, way too old. We know he don't want to be in Houston. Now, as an African-American male, you know what? Bump that. Let me move African-American off to the side for a second. As a male that lives in the United States of America, that loves football, I know the owner of the Houston, Texas, then former owner, he passed away. What, Bob McNair? Something like that? His mouth. The inmates running the asylum. Y'all remember when Colin Kaepernick was kneeling and everything like that, which we know by now was total BS as to why he is no longer in the NFL and why they kicked him out in the first place. We By now, after January 6th, there should be no doubts. We know that was total BS. But here's where we at. Brett Favre. I want to stand up when I say this. You went to Southern Mississippi. You a good old boy from down south. I'm from Camilla, Georgia. We know how y'all think down south. Cats like you make cats like me not want to give good old boys from down south the benefit of the doubt. Because we know at the end of the day, y'all good old boys. But we try and be y'all friend because we grew up with you. We went hunting with you. We went to school with you. We played football with you. But then you got to open up your mouth and you seem to be oblivious to everything that's been going on in this country. Brett Favre, shut the fuck up. You have no idea what it's like to be a black male in this country. You don't. You ain't even trying. And the sad part about it is you would think Brett Favre, after Drew Brees had his ha ass handed to him by his teammates, just last year, after George Floyd had his, was killed for eight minutes and 45 seconds, you would know Brett Favre to shut the fuck up. Way too many of y'all white males, they got way too damn comfortable speaking on black males. When, when we need y'all to say something, y'all ain't got a damn thing to say. Keep that same energy. Dick Vermeer, shut completely the hell the fuck up. Dick Vermeer, you old enough to be my father. I rooted for your team when you played Jim Plunkett and the Raiders in the Super Bowl. Ron Jaworski was your quarterback. You were wearing those green netted jerseys. The logo on your helmet, the wings were gray. That's how far I go back to you, Dick Vermeil. But let me be perfectly, perfectly clear, Dick Vermeil. See, I know you were out of the league and you came back, coach the Rams. You won that Super Bowl. Two of the girls kind of rooting for you because you're a good old boy. But during that time frame, Dick Vermeil, that you've been living as a male in America, I've seen how African-Americans get treated. I have. See, the whole time you were in the league, we not going to do this. We know what happened to, oh, I don't know. Let me see. Does anybody want to switch places with the dude who was getting his ass whooped by four police officers in L.A.? Rodney... What was Rodney's name that got his ass whooped in L.A. by the police officers? Because they said he was drunk. Because they said he was on PCP. Four police officers beat his ass and got acquitted. Trayvon Martin. What about that one, Dickie? Uh, how about George Floyd? Just last year, eight minutes and 45 seconds, Dick Vermeer. Oh, does your TV conveniently not get black news like that? Deshaun Watson is pissed. We don't give two fucks about the amount of money that he got. At the end of the day, respect is worth more than money. The Houston Texans have disrespected Deshaun Watson. And as a man, he's entitled to demand it because of the character that you know he has as a man. And you go, I'm sorry, 
I don't know why somebody felt inclined to ask you your opinion about Deshaun Watson. Because to be perfectly honest with you, I don't give a fuck about your opinion when it comes to Deshaun Watson. And I damn sure don't give two fucks about Brett Favre's opinion about Deshaun Watson. Because truth be told, y'all don't know Deshaun Watson. And truth be told, honestly, when it comes down to it, way too many of y'all, Caucasian men, don't give a fuck about anybody that looks like Deshaun Watson. You essentially told him to shut up and play football. That sound familiar? So, Brett Favre, here's what I'm going to tell you. Because I said shut the fuck up. And I really did mean shut the fuck up. You stick to doing your goddamn um, commercials with, with the wrists, the knees, and all that stuff. Shut the fuck up about active duty football players. We're not going to ask you. You don't need to comment no more. Dick Vermeer, you're retired. You're not even an NFL analyst. We don't ask you for your opinions. We're not asking you who finna get drafted, why they should get drafted. We're not asking you to give us no play-by-play. -play. Hell, we're not even asking you for football one-on-one -on -one knowledge. We're not. We're not asking you for a damn thing. You keep that same energy. I don't always agree with Stephen A. Smith, but right here on this one, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. I don't always agree with Dan Orlovsky, but on this one right here, yeah, 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 yeah. You two, white men. When we want to criticize black people, what we're going to do from now on is we're going to go get critiques from people that's black. Stay out of our fucking business going forward. You're not knowledgeable enough, nor do you care to be. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.